There are strict rules for flying drones, but clearly there are a lot of people who think the rules don't apply to them. And that's leading to more close calls in the sky. On special assignment tonight, News 13's Gabrielle Burkhardt shows you the dangers aircraft pilots are facing. I've been a pilot for 28 years. When Sergeant Will Taylor gets in the pilot seat of the Albuquerque police helicopter, Air One, he's on the lookout for trouble. We're information gatherers, so obviously we see the big picture that uh, you can't necessarily see from the ground. He advises ground crews when a suspect is on the run to help keep everyone safe in dangerous situations. And during Albuquerque's largest event, police have an eye in the sky. We help the traffic officers with the uh, flow of traffic, watch parking lots for criminal activity. But nothing could have prepared this veteran pilot for what happened during Balloon Fiesta two years ago. It was at night, it was dark. All of a sudden, my tactical flight officer called out drone, and the next thing I know, there's lights zip right past us, literally almost right under our rotor disc. So it was very, very near miss. He says his helicopter was flying at 600 feet, 200 feet above a drone's approved airspace. Plus, the drone operator didn't have permission to fly at the special event. It could have been catastrophic. But he's not the only pilot who's recently had a close call with a drone. Nearly two dozen close calls have been reported to the FAA in New Mexico in three years. Pilots reporting near misses with drones that are usually flying much higher than what's allowed or where they're not supposed to. In one report, UNM police sent officers to look for a drone operator who was flying near the hospital's helipad, which poses obvious safety concerns. Unauthorized drones have also grounded firefighting crews trying to battle the Bonita and Cajete fires in 2017. Researchers at the University of Dayton in Ohio designed a test to mimic a mid-air collision of a drone and a commercial aircraft at flight speeds showing how much more damage a drone can do than a bird strike. Could it be worse than a bird oh, strike? Oh, absolutely. And I mean, you figure a drone can be several pounds. Drone operators endangering the public face hefty fines and even jail time. We can take civil penalties in the tens of thousands of dollars um, per occurrence. But tracking them down has always been the challenge. New remote identification technology might help with that. APD started using a new tool which helps track drones in a pilot's airspace and identifies their serial number and operator. It will tell us how many drones are up, how far they are, where they are, what the speed is of the drone, what the altitude of the drone is. With an evolving industry, more commercial aircraft may start to use this technology. The hope is the rules that we promulgate will foster that type of innovation that can improve safety not only for drones but for manned pilots too. Yes. For now, the FAA says anyone flying a drone should educate themselves. Keeping the drone within line of sight and below 400 feet are basic requirements from the FAA. Users can also log on to an app to check flight restrictions around their location. The bottom line is we want to do everything we can through education, outreach, discussions with law enforcement, rules to prevent those collisions from happening in the first place. On special assignment, Gabrielle Burkhart, KRQE News 13. Now for that tracking technology to work, a drone has to be registered with the FAA and drone operators are on the honor system when it comes to registration. For more information on how to become a drone pilot or how to register your drone, head to always on krqe.com.